What's up everyone? This is Jay from the CryptoArt channel. Thank you for tuning in. Now in today's video I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite picks but before I get started with that I just want to say that nothing I say in my video is financial advice so please everyone do your own research. Alright so if you're one of those people that are trying to get the feet wet in the crypto market and bought during the hype then you're most likely experiencing a lot of pain right now because pretty sure you're in the low. Everyone experienced that 50 to 80% correction. So if you're there, I'm just letting you know, don't worry, the bull run is not over yet. We're just making that correction, which is normal. And yeah, I do expect more of this to come, but there is a lot of good news at the very end. But anyways, if you are one of these people please just hold on okay do your own research as well so that way you develop that conviction towards the cryptocurrency that you made an investment on and if you don't know you're just following the hype and you're basically gambling however for me I know that crypto is the future it's the fourth industrial revolution so I'm holding on real good anyways all right so here we have a graph of the previous bull runs as well as the current Bitcoin bull run right now. So we're here. This is the price action of Bitcoin right now. So it was staggering around like the 50 to 60, 60,000 and then boom, that Tesla and China FUD came and yeah, created that reaction in the market which caused the 50 to 60% correction. So if we take a look at the previous years, you can see that after major corrections, there was always another rally. Take a look. 2013, it's looking like the one we have right now. It's doing a little staggering right here, consolidating, and then it dropped. Probably doing a consolidation in the summer, and then it started going up again. The one in 2011 looks more like a V-shaped recovery. I mean, we, we could get that. Anything is possible, to be honest. But in my honest opinion, we are most likely going to experience another dip. And the reason being is uh, Grayscale. They are probably the biggest digital asset fund managers out there. And they have uh, big fund managers like ARK Invest invested in the Bitcoin investment fund. Anyways, they're going to release that lockup somewhere in late June to early July. And when they do release the lockup, and there's billions of dollars in there, they're going to sell it off. So that way they take their profits. So when they take their profits, a lot of people are going to be liquidated with their Bitcoin um, long, long positions, if they do have a long position right now. But of course, that is not financial advice. And yes, a lot more people are going to get hit with their, if they have bought Ron here. I'm not saying that on the way down, there's no, no way to make money. There is, but you just got to be good at that. Knowing when to short, knowing when to long. Anyways, that's it for that one. So yeah, guys, don't expect for this bull run to be over. We are going to have a consolidating summer and then we're going to have a rally back up again towards the end of the year. And they are saying, some analysts are saying that we could reach up to 200000 uh, in Bitcoin price. But again, that is not financial advice. You guys, We don't know if that's going to happen until we get closer to the actual event. Alright, so... Here's another source of information that you guys got to pay attention to, which is the Fed, Federal Reserve. Their repo and reverse repo operations. Now, this money, I, I don't exactly know where it comes from. It just, they just have it, from my understanding. Um, I, I don't fully know the technical details of it, but one thing I have been seeing is that when they do their purchases with treasuries and mortgage-backed securities, a little bit of that money goes into cryptocurrencies as well. And there were previous articles that I found in Market Watch where they actually said that, but uh, or like has links to what I'm saying right now that a bit of this money goes into cryptocurrency. And yeah, for the past couple of weeks they have been upping their reposts as well. 
Um, they were at like 200, 200 billion before, uh, like a couple weeks ago, and then they've been wrapping it up to like 500, and now they're at 740. 750 was the one. Yep, so the one they had on Thursday to Friday was 750 billion actually involved. And when they do this, it's just basically they're making a quick flip. They're making a trade, let's say, on Thursday, closing it on Friday. Once again, it's not financial advice. I don't know the full de I mean, technical details of what they do with this money. So please, you got to look into it. But all I know is just based on my own observation and general trends, there has been a lot of uh, volatility involved with cryptocurrency ever since they've been increasing the repo and reverse repos. So there's that. All right, so here's another one. For the past couple of months, uh, there's been an increasing amount of phishing scams out there. So if you're one of those people that experienced those um, YouTube videos or ads saying that if you send them an X amount of a certain crypto, you're going to get more crypto in return. Like, that's absurd. Like, nobody's going to give you free money like that. So if, you, if you're one of those people, you know, if you're new to the game and you see one of those very promising videos with a an interview of let's say the CEO of a certain project just letting you guys know nobody's gonna give you free crypto the best I mean the closest thing you can get to that is by you know staking your crypto or having a node or a liquidity provider but other than that nobody's gonna give you free crypto so like no fault for those those people are trying to steal from you and there are other forms of uh, phishing scams out there as well um, if you're in Telegram and you move into these um, a certain projects uh, Telegram community, what what tends to happen is that these people disguised as admins in that actual project, they message you on the side and then they try to help you and then they ask for let's say your keys, your private keys for your wallet, and their some of their excuses is like it. It gets people because they, they say, oh, yeah, in order for us to help you with your funds, we're going to need to take a look at your wallet. So that way we can scan things, this and that. And then they ask for like very personal information. So if you're experiencing that, just letting you know, don't go with it. Those admins will never direct message you outside of their platform. They will always talk to you in the actual uh, chat themselves with like thousands of other people other people so just keep that in mind but also if you still have cryptocurrency in your exchanges um, I'm gonna show you a hard wallet that I highly recommend because I, I've been using it for over a year but before I show you that I'm gonna show you one of my favorite picks this is veracity right here the protocol and product layer platform for esports and video entertainment now, when it comes to esports and video entertainment, I do believe it's going to make a big, big impact in the new economy. And the reason being is because with all these lockdowns happening, people's minds are being conditioned into wanting to stay home. And now they're positioning themselves where they're looking for a, like all sorts of entertainment so that way they can make staying at home more fun for them. And esports, as well as other video entertainment platforms, is definitely going to be that thing that they're going to be looking for and of course for the past few years the idea of esports has been growing like these athletes uh, I don't know what they're called video game athletes uh, anyways yes these video gamers um, their, their prize pool for their tournaments have been getting bigger and bigger so I do foresee a lot more people wanting to get into esports more than actual sports because there's a lot more people that can accomplish something like this like having a laptop or a computer and just being good with that video game rather than you know being competitive in actual sports where their physical stature has to matter and there's a lot of people that can't compete in actual sports because of you know they don't have the actual body for it so this is why I think esports is going to be big in the new economy. 
But anyways, I want to show you guys this video. So, right now, in the gaming industry or esports industry, there's at least around 500 me uh, million people involved. And a good majority of them are in their quarter of life crisis. <laughs> 24, 25 year olds. And of course, there's females in there as well. Video games were mainly designed for the females in the beginning. And in the crypto community, there is only one fifth of that. So, what do you think is going to happen when the new economy starts merging more and more, expanding into the masses? These people are going to start acquiring cryptocurrencies as well as, of course, Veracity or VRA. So, the price of Veracity, in my opinion, right now is heavily undervalued. Veracity, however, is changing the game for esports fighting by offering crypto rewards and for engaging with pre-existing and world-renowned esports tournaments. So imagine, guys, millions and millions of people watching esports, and every single time they watch, they get awarded with VRA tokens. So if a lot of those people are holding onto the crypto, the value of that coin just will naturally go up. And keep in mind, they're their own blockchain. So that means other projects out there are going to be using their protocol to boost whatever utility they want to give their actual project. So keep that in mind. If uh, you're not invested in um, cryptocurrencies or like crypto coins that have their own protocol that's catered towards the new economy, your gains is going to be somewhere in the short term. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to make money. Uh, I'm just saying that you might want to look into the projects with protocols that, you know, sound money is going to put their money in. Because these meme coins, like let's say Doge, um, Shiba Inu, they're just designed to move the masses in. Their protocols, I mean, it's getting shinier and shinier. Not gonna lie, they're putting updates to on it, but with my other uh, projects out there that I've done research on, I do believe that those are going to be the main projects. And if you want more information on those, you guys have to press the like button and subscribe as well. So that way you guys get updated information on when I come up with these money-making crypto picks. And if you want those lists, you gotta subscribe to my Patreon. I have all the list of my money making cryptos in there. They've all made me money. But once again, it's not financial advice. So, yeah, that's Veracity, guys. Um, I want to show you when I found Veracity. And yeah. Well, actually, I didn't go get out, I, I didn't pull out and do a flip. But, anyways, I got in Veracity around this area, right here. So, right before the big rally. So, I got really lucky. So yep, I found it when it was one fifth of a penny, and then I staked it from there. They're, they have their own uh, their soft wallet where you can stake it there for 25% APY. So I was staking, I bought it, I staked it right away, and they start rallying up all the way up to five cents. So that to me is what a 25x within just a month. It's crazy. But again, we don't fully know when the bottom is going to be, when the perfect top is going to be. So, I mean, I, I did have in mind of flipping this. But I decided, you know what, I know where this is going to be in the future. So I just left it in the staking wallet. So right now, it's still making passive income for me, making getting me more tokens. So I can only imagine within three years from now where the price is going to be when a lot more projects are going to be using the Veracity protocol to basically um, protect their marketing ad spend. And for those of you that don't know, Veracity also has a lot of patents that just got accepted in the US as well as global when it comes to proof of view. So. Um, if you're one of those people that, you know, hate watching those video ads that pop up every now and then, 
Uh, they do track that if you are a bot clicking uh, no or closing it or if you're an actual human being watching the ad. So lately a lot of marketers have been um, getting price gouged with their ad spend because of these bots. So Veracity is aiming to improve the marketers uh, experience by basically allowing them to find out which ones are the fake viewers which ones the real one so that way they don't put their money in the fake fake viewers and yeah they do have algorithms to track that guys so keep that in mind in the new economy there's going to be artificial intelligence involved and these guys are going to be on like 24 7 there's no escape so before they used to have humans monitoring everything but now things are gonna go skyrocket with the control because now they're going to have robots machines and artificial intelligence that's the scary part so we definitely need to regulate AI way before anything but anyways if you look at my description below you'll see a link to uh, Ledger Ledger is one of those hardware uh, companies that make uh, really good hardware wallets and if you click on the link below my link um, you get a free $25 voucher as well as a free beginner's guide to mastering crypto basics and yes guys if you are invested in cryptocurrencies you gotta understand the fundamentals and the basics as well because if you don't you're really just gambling your money because you don't know what these protocols are going to do what they aim to do how they're going to solve the world I mean solve the world's issues but anyways yeah do look into these um, wallets right here the Ledger Nano S and Ledger Nano X there is a big difference between both of them uh, Nano S is more for people that have like let's say up to three cryptocurrencies only and there's nothing wrong with that a lot of people actually make money just by like sticking to like less than three cryptos and there are people like me who like to have multiple cryptocurrencies so this one Ledger Nano X this one has Bluetooth as well as it can house up to a hundred uh, apps in there. So keep that in mind. But yeah, once again, um, if you did like my video, you find it informative when it comes to learning cryptocurrency, please do press the like button and subscribe as well. So that way you get notified when I come up with these videos. And also press that share button as well. Make sure that your friends and family know of the new economy. <laughs> And yeah, thank you so much for listening. Um, I will have more market updates later on. And yeah, take care.